okay now we are going to discuss break-even analysis in this chapter in cvp we have discussed the cvp contribution margin income statement and now we are going to discuss about the break-even analysis break-even what is break-even break-even is a point where no profit no loss exists right no profit no loss mean their profit is zero right it's mean no we are not getting any profit and we are not getting any loss it's mean the point where contribution margin is equal to fixed expense and net operating income is zero that is no profit no loss okay in previous example or in previous uh, work or in the previous uh, lecture introduction of cvp we have prepared the number of uh, contribution format income statement on different levels right we have done on one we have done on two we have done on 350 we have done on 351 we have done on 400 we have done on uh, 425 in short we have done it on different levels but but on level of 350 where the profit was zero right so break even as a point where no profit and no loss okay we have two methods one is the equation method and another one is the formula method the formula method is also called the contribution margin method right but first we will discuss the equation method in equation method how we can analyze the break-even point break-even units break-even dollar sale in equation method and in formula method first we will discuss the equation method let's take the example selling price per unit is $250 again I'm selecting the previous uh, <coughs> example here we have discussed the selling point uh, selling price per unit is 250 the variable expense per unit is 150 here we want to find the units units can say units units at break even right units at break even where no profit and no loss exists how we will find the C okay fixed expense remain fixed that is 35,000 okay okay the we know the equation we have already seen the equation cvp relationship in equation form so we will take the same equation from there and that was profit is equal to sale minus variable minus fixed expense right we have already discussed profit is equal to sale minus variable minus fixed expenses okay in this break even unit where we want to find the break even units the profit must be zero right profit must be zero so we will write here the zero for the profit okay what about the sales sales cash in the sales selling price into quantity what about the variable expense variable price variable price per unit into quantity and minus fixed expense okay we have right here we found q in common so we have taken this q in common sp minus vp selling price minus variable price minus fixed expense so here we have insert the value in this equation so 250 minus 50 which is equal to 100 q minus 35000 so in this side we will take this 35000 on the another side so this minus sign will become positive right so here the q is multiplied with 100 so we would divide on the other side by 100 35000 divided by 100 is equal to 350 units we have seen in the our previous example the 350 were the point where we got the break even right where there were no profit and no loss right we have seen in our contribution format income statement in detail in the first lecture that the 350 units or the 350 speakers were the the point where the uh, no net operating income or net operating profit were zero mean no profit and no loss right okay the another one the another thing that is break even sale first we have to find the break even unit and then we want to find the break even sale in dollar right okay 
Take the example the break-even point in total sale X. Now I want to find the break-even in total sale dollar. I found that X is my variable for representing this value sales dollar for sales dollar can also compute it as follows again we will take the example sales equal to variable expense plus fixed expense plus profit right again what we have taken we have taken the equation <coughs> equation again equation we will take our equation okay in the previous one sale sale is our x in the previous like here break even point in total sale is x so my sales is x right okay we have calculated variable expense ratio in our previous example right in our previous lecture so what was the variable expense we can calculate as well here with the uh, variable expense ratio take the variable cost divided by sale what we will get we will get 0.6 right okay plus fixed expense and my profit is zero right okay take the value of x 0 0.6 x on the other side so it will become minus right okay equal to 35,000 after solving these values what we got we got 87,500 check it 35,000 divided by 0.4 what is my value my value is 87,500 it's mean my break-even sales in dollar is 87,500 and we have already checked it on contribution format income statement so we can find through equation format through contribution format income statement and through formula method right now our break even point is 350 unit and our break even sale is 87,500 and you can check it from your previous work right okay what about the formula method now moving towards the formula method my selling price per unit again we with 250 dollar my variable expense per unit $150 my unit sold I want to find it on break even and my fixed expense for $35,000 how I can calculate through formula method the formula is break even point and unit sold is equal to fixed expense divided by unit contribution margin okay my fixed expense for $35,000 and my unit contribution margin was Hundred. We have already cal calculated how I can calculate 250 minus 150 is my unit contribution margin, right? If you want to see for right, I can write here for you unit contribution margin. How I calculate unit contribution margin? Unit contribution margin margin is equal to. 250 minus 150 right shift dollar 250 minus shift dollar 150 that is dollar 100 my unit contribution margin is 100 okay break even point in units fixed expenses given contribution margin you have calculated from here so the hundred so my break even unit again that is 350 so whatever the approach is whatever you want to do the formula method or the equation method or the income uh, contribution format income statement you will get the same result on 350 we have seen the 350 where the unit was for break even right in the contribution format in the equation method and now in the formula method as well so break even point in total sales order this is the shortcut right formula method we can say this is a shortcut method you can calculate from this method as well right okay now break even point in total total dollar sale equal to fixed expense divided by contribution margin ratio contribution margin ratio here we are discussing about cmr we have already calculated cmr in our first uh, one first uh, video um, contribution divided by sales right my contribution was my contribution was 40,000 
इसका कंट्रीब्यूशन बॉस क्या था भाई फोर्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर था फोर्टी थाउजेंड एंड माई सेल्स वॉर माई सेल्स वॉर माई सेल्स वॉर वन लैक वट आई वुड गैट आई विल गैट पॉइंट फोर माई सी एम आर एस पॉइंट फोर सो आई विल टेक इन माई सी एम आर हेयर सो ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट एंड टोटल सेल रिमेंबर यू मस्ट हैव टू टेक द सी एम आर रेशो दैट इज पॉइंट फोर राइट सो ब्रेक इवन सेल इन डॉलर दैट इज एटी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड and in previous chapter or in previous work we have seen the 87000 87500 were my break even dollar sale right clear is there any confusion no so we have found the formula method and the equation method for calculating the break even that's it